What's up, Chuletas? Today we're going to be making this beautiful nativity themed ornament in celebration of Jesus Christ's birthday. If you're new here, welcome to Thalia's Cakes. Thank you so much for clicking on this tutorial. If you enjoy fun cake decorating and other cake related stuff, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more cake tutorials. Espero de un momento. Before we start, I would like to mention that this is a collaboration with Sugar High Score. She's extremely talented. She made this adorable pug that's dressed as Rudolph. So please be sure to check out her part of the collaboration at the end of my tutorial and I will be leaving the link to her video down in the description box. Bueno, empezamos. If you've been watching my tutorial lately, I've been using this ball pan a lot. I'm so sorry, pero I love using it. It's so easy. <laughs> Anyways, I went ahead and stacked the cake and crumb coated it and now I'm placing the final coat layer on. To smooth it out, I'm using my handy dander plastic buttercream smoother. You know, I really should start selling these smoothers for like 25 cents each. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just cut this out of a fruit plastic container thingy. Once that's it, I'm going to place the cake into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And then apply this beautiful turquoise colored fondant onto my cake. Not only is it Jesus Christ's birthday, but it's your girl's birthday today. Happy birthday! <laughs> your girl's turning 25 today. I can't believe it. Yeah, I know, I know. So I want you to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already and also to share this video. It would be the best birthday gift and the best Christmas gift that you could give to your girl. Because I'm trying to reach 8K by the end of this year which I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It's okay, you know, it's always next year. Sometimes you don't always reach your goals, but my plan is to be better next year. So, help you girl. So I printed out some nativity templates off of Google and cut them out like this with my X-Acto knife. Mira, this takes a lot of patience, okay? Just warning you. So you wanna make sure to cut out each design individually and then cut it out like that. It makes the cutting process a lot easier. Before placing down the template, make sure to place some shortening on the fondant to help hold down the paper as you cut. Once you have all the shapes cut out, you can start by placing them on with water. First, start by putting on the star, then place on baby Jesus, and then put Maria, and then put Josue, and lastly, add the angels on each side, and the little stars. And just in case you're interested in any of the tools that I'm using in this video, I will be leaving the link down below in the description box. You already know the deal, girl. You already know. Now for the other side of the ornament, I thought it would be really cute to put like joy to the world. If you do want to get fancy like I did, I used this clay extruder to get these strips like this, and then I shaped them into the letters. If not, use whatever fancy fondant cutters that you got, but I did this because I don't have any fancy fondant cutters. I gotta put that on my Christmas list. At the top of the ornament, I cut out a little piece like this to add on the little piece. You know that little piece that's on top of the ornament that helps it like hang, dangle on the tree? And then for the design that goes like around it, I just used a flower petal and you know, I glued that on and made it look like that little design thingy. For the little metal loop, I used some floral wire and I covered it in aluminum tape because the floral wire that I had was purple. So if you're going to do this, make sure that you are very careful because I cut myself so bad. It hurt like a mother. Okay. And just to make it look cute, I added this cute snowflake ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. You guys already know the deal with me and the Dollar Tree, okay? I did feel like the cake was going to need a little something more. So then I went ahead and I added some cotton candy that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I ripped it up into a bunch of pieces and I placed it down on top of a cake board that was covered in white fondant. 
I was a little afraid that the cotton candy was going to like cover a lot of the ornament so I decided to place some cake boards underneath the cake to give it a little bit more height so you know it doesn't hide underneath all the cotton candy you know what I mean and just so you know the cotton candy will last for some time maybe an hour depending on how humid it is I wish it lasted longer but if you want to do it go ahead and do it I mean it's fun if not figure out another way how to put the snow Look how awesome this cake came out. I am so happy with it. For me, I always like to remind myself the true meaning of Christmas. So what better way than to celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Y'all not ready? You didn't hear me? Who's coming back? Amen? Amen, amen. All right. Birthday. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get it to like 500 likes. I don't know. You know, surprise me, okay? And if you're new here, please go ahead and click that circle button right over here to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any more cake tutorials like these, okay? And before you head on out, please make sure to go check out Sugar High Scores part of the collaboration. The link is down below in the description. Thank you so, so much for watching. God bless.